Welcome to Electrocute, where we share some of our. This isn't this isn't the right Nick. This is how how do you mix up the Nicks? Where is Nick Pool? Welcome to Electrocute, where we. You said you said you were getting Nick. Welcome to. Do you think you're fooling anyone? You're not. You're not fooling anyone. Those don't even look like Nick's glasses. Those are those are women's glasses, Nick. Does my does my hair look okay? All right. You know what? You know what? This is gonna work. This is. We're just gonna do it like this. I'm not. I'm not standing on the box though, guys. I look like a giant. Okay. Welcome to Electrocute, where we share some of our favorite tools and components for your wearable and craft projects. I'm Dia, SparkFun's textile specialist. And this is Nick. Not, not that Nick, the other Nick. Anyways, today we want to share with you the electronic wake-on shake. The wake-on shake is a very cool board that you install as a switch between your project and your power supply. The wake-on shake activates when it moves, allowing your project to turn on when it's bumped or shaken and hibernate the rest of the time. This saves power and makes it very easy to create a motion-sensitive project. Looking for a project to showcase this part, I wanted something that would evoke a air of mystery and wonder. And then I remembered a nightmare I had after my last trip to the Natural Science Museum and used that instead. I love insect mounts. They're beautiful and interesting and maybe just a touch on the creepy side if you're squeamish about bugs. I thought it would be fun to try and bring one to life with electronics. This is a giant stick insect from Southeast Asia. We started out trying with a butterfly, but that didn't really work out. The servos we were using made too much noise, and it spoiled the effect. So we turned to this fellow. Unlike a butterfly, a stick insect doesn't flutter. Instead, he's got these glassy wings that buzz. So instead of a servo, I was able to use a vibration motor, and the noise became a feature, not a bug. A bug feature. Here's a simplified version of the circuit. The wake on shake interrupts power until it moves in the case of our bug, until the glass gets tapped. Then the vibe motors get power, buzzing the wings. On our final project, we added an Arduino so that we could have a pattern in the buzzing of the wings, and also a MOSFET, which gave us enough power to move two vibe motors instead of one. The finished effect is really disconcerting when you touch the project. Then again, you weren't supposed to tap the glass anyways. This is a museum, have a little respect. If you've got any questions or want to suggest products we could feature in future videos, or you just want to know whether I'm planning to sneak in and hang this up in the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, leave a comment below and we'll try to answer your questions in the next video.